So now that we have our initial model setup complete, it's time to move on to the final model setup. So final model setup includes functions like exponential, dual rates, gains, and also mixing if you have any mixing functions. Let's start with exponential. So from the settings screens, go ahead and hit the expo screen, and you'll see that you have three different flight modes displayed. And it's also very important to understand that you have uh, roll, pitch, and yaw axis. So you have three flight modes and you have three axis. In order to access the axis, you scroll from right to left, and that'll change from roll to pitch to yaw. In this case, let's go ahead and start with roll. Now, at the beginning of this section, you really need to determine how you're going to use your flight modes. In this case, I've assigned my flight mode in that flight mode switch selection screen to the auxiliary one channel, and I have it set up here. So this would be flight mode one, flight mode two, and flight mode three. What I'm going to do is I'm going to set up flight mode one so that it's not going to have any gains, so it's going to be like my safety um, position. If anything happens, if I screw up my orientation, something's not working right, if I flip to that screen, it's going to turn off all the AS3X functions. Um, flight mode two, I'm going to set up for just normal flying around, and for flight mode three, I'm going to set up for 3D aerobatics. So I'm going to go first and start with flight mode one. Now my expo screen, I'm going to set up an exponential and in fact refer to the uh, manual for most of the airplanes that you have, but I'm going to put positive exponential. So what positive exponential does is it softens the sensitivity of the control system or control surfaces around center. And so in this case, you'll almost always want positive exponential. Some other brands of radios do just the opposite where you use negative expo, but with Spectrum um, and with this application, we want positive expo. So tap the screen, touch the screen and scroll up and down. In this case, you'll scroll up, scroll up. And I'm gonna want to set, in this case, I'm gonna go to 40% expo for my flight mode one. For flight mode two, I'm going to also set that at 40% because I personally like a fairly high exponential value. And for flight num mode number three, I'm going to actually set that up for 50% exponential. And notice, of course, I'm going to do exponential in the same, both values in the same direction. And by the way, I'm having a hard time getting exactly to 50, so I can tap on the top side or tap on the bottom side, and that lets me hit exactly the value that I want. So there's my roll. So you can see all three flight modes are displayed, and you'll notice that the boxes below show 40 and 40, 40 and 40 for flight mode two, and 50 and 50 for flight mode three. Next, I'm gonna go to my pitch, which is my elevator control. So I'm gonna do 30% for flight mode one, 30% for flight mode two. And for flight mode three, which I'm gonna have a very high rate on, so very high control throws, I'm gonna actually do 50%. Okay, then I'm gonna go ahead and adjust my rudder. So flight mode one, 30%. Flight mode two, also 30%. And flight mode three, 40%. Okay, so I've set my um, exponential values for roll, pitch, and yaw. And then it's a good idea to just go ahead and go through and double check those. Again, if you have any questions, there's that question mark in the top right hand corner. It's going to show you how to do the gestures, and it's also going to talk about what exponential is used for. By the way, if you forget, it tells you in there, you know, what positive exponential is versus negative exponential. Again, with our systems, always use positive exponential. Um, you'll also see later, we're going to show you the, um, another screen, which is called a dashboard, that shows all these things summarized um, in one screen. But that is the exponential functions. Now we're going to go back and we're going to do the same thing with dual rate. So let's select the dual rate. And again, you navigate through dual rate exactly like we did the expo. We have roll, we have pitch, we have yaw. So let's start with roll. So roll for my flight mode one, which is gonna be my safe mode. 
I'm going to reduce that a bunch. I'm going to set that at 40% roll rate. Okay? Flight mode 2, I'm going to set that up at 50% roll rate. And flight mode 3 is going to be a 3D rate, and I'm going to go ahead and leave that at 100%. In fact, later, I may even update that to 125%. But for now, we're going to stick to 100%. Okay? Next, we're going to do pitch. So for pitch, for normal, I'm going to bring that down to 25%. And in fact, while you're doing this, you'll see I'm in flight mode 1, and I've reduced it to 25%. If I flip to flight mode 2, which is still at 100%, I guess my point is here, this is actually active. So as I adjust this, I can make these adjustments and measure it, um, and actually measure it while I'm making these adjustments. So I'm going to do the same. I'm going to do 25%. And this gives me just a nice, gentle elevator. And then again, for my 3D rates, I'm going to go ahead and leave that at 100%. Leave it both in the same direction. And then yaw, I'm going to do the same kind of thing. I'm going to reduce my yaw 40%. Flight mode 2, same thing, 40%. Flight mode 3, I'm going to leave it 100%. Okay. So you've probably um, adjusted exponential and dual rate in your transmitter with previous model setups. And basically, you do it exactly like you did with your previous models. And you get the same kind of results. In fact, you get the same kind of um, response rate that you do. If you had a 50% dual rate on your aileron with your existing model, do it in the application. It'll do exactly the same thing. By the way, the exponential curve is also um, tailored to exactly match the exponential curve that we utilize in our spectrum radios. So if you have a 10% expo, a 20% expo, or whatever value that is, it will exactly match the exponential value that we have in our transmitter. So the field will be exactly the same.